Hello, hello, hello. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm looking in the camera. This is crazy. Looking in the camera, fixing your hair. But uh, I, I said on yesterday, because it was my 47th birthday and I had so much to be happy and, and celebrate and so much to be thankful for, um, that I was going to do um, seven days of thankfulness because my birthday fell this year exactly seven days before Thanksgiving. So I will, I decided that I would do for seven days, get on Periscope and just share seven things that I'm thankful for. Um, and so today um, I'm thankful for it. Yes, it, I-T. Let me explain what that, what I mean by that. Um, today is moving day. I'm actually standing in my new bedroom. I'm standing um, here um, and uh, kind of looking kind of all out of sorts, but today is moving day. So, hey, um, moving and excited about it and uh, getting to be in my very new home, very first new home, never um, owned a home before. And it's one of the things I wanted to do before I turned 50. And so here I am, 47, and one of the things is checked off the list. So I'm excited about that. So as I said uh, in my earlier, a moment ago, that my I wanted to celebrate it. And so here it is. Um, it, there's a scripture in the Bible that uh, oftentimes gets uh, misquoted. It's, it's, it's misquoted. I've, I've misquoted it a million times because we regurgitate things that we hear and have heard. And so we, we repeat it and we say it and it's taken and it, it's, it loses some of its um, savor because we have misquoted it. As a matter of fact, I was on a, um, a call this morning um, uh, and she really hit on some of the things uh, I was on. I was listening to a Periscope this morning. She really hit on some things that um, I was already going to speak about. And that is, you know, you need to know things for yourself. You need to learn and study the word for yourself and under, have an understanding um, because so many times we do, we're so accustomed to just because it sounds good and it sounds right, oh, that must be right. Um, and so we kind of regurgitate scripture. So the one that we, that I'm speaking about that we miss quote often, and I'll start it, and you probably will know the, the, the end as you remember it, as you've been taught. And it is in Proverbs 10, 22, it says, the blessing on the Lord, and and you probably will, will complete it. And most times people say, the blessing of the Lord maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. And, you know, people get excited about that, but that's not what the scripture says. It's actually not what that says. We we say often, the blessing of the Lord maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. And we get all excited, and that's all great, but that's not what it says. It says, the blessing of the Lord, comma, it maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow with it. Isn't that awesome that there is a specific, there's something specific about that. There's an it, the blessing of the Lord. It maketh the rich and, add no, and he addeth no sorrow with it. And so I'm excited about it. I'm standing in it. I have relationships with people who are part of my life that are part of the it. That adds, that, that, that is a blessing from God and adds no sorrow with it. So so if you 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 have something that you're connected to, someone that you're connected to um that is bringing you sorrow did is that the it? Are they the it? If you have friends who don't pour into you goodness but use you as a, a garbage can and pour into you trash and you are left with the devastation of having to deal with their issue, your issue, and you are no better for it, having them a part of, of your life, the blessing of the Lord, it, it, make the rich. There's, there's different translations um, that, that speak to what that it is or how that it is inter interpreted, but it may, the one scripture interprets that it makes your life rich. A lot of times we look for the monetary things, which is so wonderful, so great. But if I can have a rich life where my family is blessed, where I'm walking in peace, where I have friendships and relationships, whether they be business or personal, that are enhancing and not decreasing me, where I can walk into um, uh, agreements and, and walk into contracts and walk into, you know, 
things that are, are natural and be better for it and not be wearied from it. It. So today I'm thankful. I'm thankful. Today is moving day. I'm moving into my new home. But it symbolizes more than just a building because, true enough, after the dust is settled and I moved in, there's gonna there's a mortgage that's due. So it's not like they gave me the house. But listen, listen, I'm excited about this because this 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 move into this house is also it has a, a different meaning for me. It is a transition. It is a moving from what was old and into what is new. I was telling someone. They came by the house yesterday and they looked around and they saw there was still a whole lot of furniture there. And I told them everything is not going to make it to the plumber's land. I'm not taking all the old stuff. I'm not taking what somebody else can use that I've already, it blessed me, but now it's time to move on. And if that means that I don't have what I think I want right now, I don't, you know, I'm going to take my time and I'm going to find the, the furniture that I want and, and the things that I want to make it mine. Because it is truly mine, and it is a blessing for the Lord, from the Lord, and He addeth no sorrow with it. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow on Periscope, where tomorrow I'll be telling you on day three of what I'm thankful for in my seven days of thankfulness. Now, back to it. More packing, unpacking, more moving, more stuff. Talk to you later. Bye.